Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video, I want to discuss the synthesis of prostaglandins. If you have any questions about this video, write a comment below in the comment section and make sure you subscribe and like this video as well. It really helps the channel to grow. So let's get into this video on the synthesis of prostaglandins. Well, we have something which is known as linoleic acid, and this is an essential fatty acid, and it comes into the body through the diet. So it's a dietary precursor of prostaglandins. And linoleic acid is desaturated and elongated when it's inside the human body to form something known as arachidonic acid. So arachidonic acid is the immediate precursor of the main prostaglandins in humans. So what happens is arachidonic acid is incorporated into membrane-bound phospholipids. It is then released by phospholipase A2 in a response to different signals. So prostaglandin H2, this is the next part. This is one of the main uh, prostaglandins. So we're going to talk about how it's synthesized. So we have this arachidonic acid and via an oxidative cyclization reaction it's converted into prostaglandin H2 and the enzyme which catalyzes this reaction is prostaglandin endoperoxidase synthase and to shorten this we're going to call it PGH synth synthase. PGH synthase is an enzyme and it's an endoplasmic reticulum membrane bound protein and it has two catalytic activities so number one it possesses fatty acid cyclooxygenase otherwise known as COX which requires two molecules of oxygen and it also has a peroxidase which is dependent on a reduced glutathione so there are two isoenzymes known as COX-1 or COX-2 of this PGH synthase. So we have COX-1 which is made in most tissues and it's needed for the maintenance of healthy gastric tissue, renal homeostasis and platelet aggregation. And we have COX-2 which is inducible in a limited amount of tissues in response to products of activated immune and inflammatory cells. So what this means in, in terms of the second one, COX-2, is the increase in prostaglandin synthesis because of the induction of COX-2 is what causes the pain, heat, redness and swelling of inflammation and the fever of infection. So just to summarize um, this video, when we're talking about the synthesis of prostaglandins, the main one is prostaglandin H2. It's synthesized from arachidonic acid and it forms prostaglandin H2. It's an oxidative cyclization reaction and the main, um, well, the enzyme which catalyzes the reaction is prostaglandin endoperoxidase synthase, PGH synthase. It consists of two, um, well, it has two catalytic ac activities within the synthase enzyme. It has the COX uh, fatty acid cyclooxygenase. Remember that requires two molecules of oxygen and it has peroxidase. And there's two isoenzymes of this COX uh, fatty acid cyclooxygenase enzyme. And it's the COX-1 and COX-2. COX is made in most tissues and it's needed for maintenance of healthy gastric tissue, renal homeostasis and platelet aggregation. COX-2 is inducible in a limited amount of tissues in response to products of activated uh, immune and inflammatory cells. So that just means that when there's an increase in the prostaglandin synthesis because of the induction of COX-2, this is what causes pain, heat, redness and swelling in inflammation and the fever of infection. So it's COX-2 which is responsible for that. That's everything we're going to discuss today on the synthesis of prostaglandins and I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching.